I find with most peanut produ- well, a lot of peanut producers, the peanut producers that I know and, and, and enjoy, they, they have these peanuts and, oh yeah, we make a Chardonnay. Kind of like, oh, I guess so. I mean, almost dismissive. I, I don't <laughs> want to make it sound so, I mean, because I think your Chardonnays, I mean, I just poured the Pratt are absolutely fabulous. But sometimes I think your Chardonnay is even better than your Pinots. But, but most peanut producers want to talk about their Pinots first, last, and in the middle. Is what, do you agree with that? And why is that? You know, I, Jeff, I, I do agree with that. Um, but I have to say that I think times are changing. And I think one of the reasons why is because I know for myself and a lot of my peers, we've really started to figure out Chardonnay. I think figuring out Chardonnay came after figuring out Pinot. I think that we really started to figure out Pinot here in California in the early to mid nineties. And I feel like we really didn't get out of the really bad California Chardonnay style, you know, until, you know, later in the nineties. So we got away from that, you know, over oaked, um, you know, syrupy Chardonnay, that California style, uh, and really um, started to make Chardonnays like the old world, right? Less, less new oak, a little higher acid, no residual sugar, um, no diacetyl, um, you know, making, making really kind of authentic, uh, traditional Chardonnay. And I think that happened because we really started to figure out the spots, just like we had to do with Pinot, as to where it grows the best. And so, okay. yes, I think the conversation's changing, though. 